Hey guys, um, this is Kev. Just wanted to um, show you what's um, what's new with uh, Maverick. Um, I've I've just really been loving it. Um, they just came out with a, a new release on their Rhino Link, and um, I'm just like super excited because now I can just click of a button, be over into Maverick, and I actually like that it renders in a separate application instead of inside a Rhino. Um, allows me to keep working and doing other things while while renderings kind of taking place so um, everybody has you know obviously different flavors and different likes and dislikes but for me you know I've I've just really enjoyed uh, Maverick so just to show you here's our new run into Maverick button um, that I'm beta testing for them and uh, it's kind of been really cool so I've been like really excited that um, I can just now one click and be over and uh, you know rendering can take place you know things are just really pretty darn easy with this it's just drag and drop um, you know I can uh, select materials um, select by the material and then go back and um, add you know metal colors whatever I'm doing so um, and it's just you know pretty easy for me so um, it's just been great and you know now now you can very easily uh, uh, add materials and things and like I said one jump and get over into uh, into rendering so anyways I have navigation set up too to work just like Rhino does so it's it's just been really fun and uh, I've been really happy with the with the render times I mean there's nothing that's really extensively long really for the type of uh, renders that I'm getting so um, anyways I think it's just one a really cheap render engine two very easy to use and I've even experimented with some things um, been able to put hands and stuff into the scenes now and so I'm I've been like super super happy anyways just thought somebody this might help somebody out and get you excited about what's coming out here within probably about the next week or so Kev out